So today's actually back and buy day, but like I said, I like to start with calves and then I'm gonna go to quads and then actually hit back and buys. I've seen a huge difference in my calves ever since I started hitting them three times a week. If you want bigger calves, you just have to hit them more often throughout the week. This is like the fourth time in a row I forgot my bottle of water. Are these signs of early Alzheimer's? At least the music isn't so loud today where I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> All right, I need some water. Yo, I totally just jinxed it. The music just got way louder. That's great. That's great. I'm fine. That's cool. I'm fine. I'm gonna hit a few sets of leg extensions and then finally we can hit back and buys. I can't wait to hit back and buys, but at the same time, these legs need to grow. So I need to hit them more often. How do people like go to work and then like not go to the gym after work? Like on their days off, how do they not go to the gym? I remember it took me forever to actually enjoy hitting legs. Now I wish I could hit legs every day. Unfortunately, humans don't work that way. All right, last set and then we can finally get back and buy. So four arms first. <sighs> Forms are just as bad as calves. God damn. All right, let's bump this up to 80. The row machine kept getting taken. I was about to go on as soon as someone was done. And then someone just like intercepted and I was like, oh my God. I think it's the universe's way of saying, just do weighted pull up, but I gotta warm up with regular pull ups first. Alright, it's time for weighted pull-ups. God, I haven't done these in a while. I've been focusing on my T-rows. I don't even know how many I can do of these. I used to be able to do 10. Here goes nothing. Five is pathetic. We gotta push through, we gotta push through, push through. You know, I've always known this, but I've seriously come to realize lately, if you don't have enough sleep, it doesn't matter how much pre-workout, caffeine, how much whatever, sometimes you're just not gonna have a good day at the gym. You need to keep up with your sleep. Keep up with your hours of sleep. Get at least eight hours of sleep. Get on a good schedule. If not, you're gonna have days like this very often. Sleep is important, kids. I mean, honestly, I did go pretty hard on calves, quads, and forearms, so I'm pretty happy. Those are the muscle groups I really want to focus and I need them to catch up to the rest of my body, so I'm happy about today's workout. I just missed when I was doing weighted pull-ups for like 10, you know. <laughs> I haven't done these in a hot minute, but let's see how they feel. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Last few sets and then time to go home. <sighs> It's time to go home. <laughs>